Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to another awesome video. In today's video, we are screen mirroring any Sony Xperia smartphone to your Samsung TV. And it's completely free and just to prove my point, it's being mirrored to right now on my TV. You can see it in the background. It's completely free. It's wireless, by the way. It's Everything is just built into it. So you can see, oh, there you go. I'm just going to use the take a photo. Okay, that was pretty quick. I open up the photo, just gonna give you an example. And by the way, you can see it, it's running on my TV as well. Let me just zoom in and you can see it, it's being zoomed to on my TV right there, see? Okay, so let me just, uh, by the way, let me just, all right, let me just go full screen so you can actually see I can go full screen as well, it's right there, see? I mean, it's pretty, pretty amazing the way it works. So let me just zoom in on my computer. I mean, that's pretty much it, okay. I can't zoom in more, but you can see the, uh, okay. Okay, okay, all right. All right, you get the point, right? You get the point. It's completely free, so let's just dive right into it. All right, so there's a couple things we have to do before we actually jump into it. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do on your Sony Xperia smartphone is to make sure your, smart, your Sony phone is connected to your home Wi-Fi connection. So really simple, just go back to your settings. Now inside the settings, you have to go to your networks and internet settings. Now inside the network settings, go into your home Wi-Fi. Now here you will find your home Wi-Fi. Now, if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection available to you, you can actually use mobile hotspot as well. So if you just go back a tiny bit, go back all the way to hotspot. Now you can use a mobile hotspot right from your Sony phone, but I will not recommend this because this might cost you credit and it depends on your data plan or where you live or what credit you have on your phone so be careful with it it's not free so what i read what i would recommend is using your home wi-fi so go to your go to your home wi-fi and connect your connect your xperia phone to your home wi-fi that is the best method it's homey it's free and you don't have to worry about data or anything like that so once you're connect once your sony phone is connected to your home wi-fi that is pretty much all you have to do okay now let's jump to the tv and let's do the exact same thing so the first thing you're going to do is go into your menu settings now inside the menu settings, go into your general settings. Inside the general settings, you would find a setting called network settings. Okay, so really, sim really simple, really easy. So go into your network settings. Now once you in once you inside the network settings, you would find a option called network status. That means if you have connected your TV before, you could just actually click on it and it will automatically connect your TV for you. So if you've never done this before, go to your network settings. Now inside the settings, you could go wired if you have the wireless. If you have the wired connection, I would not recommend this. Just click on wireless, and when you are when you are on wireless connection, you have your home Wi-Fi. But if you opt to use your portable hotspot, you would find your hotspot right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you an example. Let me just take the Sony phone and give you an example. All right, so I have my phone, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect my home Wi-Fi. Really simple just for an example okay so this is just for an example now inside your network settings i'm just going to click on home wi-fi i'm just going to disable this and i'm going to go back and turn on the mobile data and my hotspot so i'm just going to go back you can just uh, turn on the mobile data right from network right there you have the option for mobile data just click on mobile data it's turned on i'm just going to click on hotspot again and make sure the hotspot is running in the background so I'm just gonna turn on the hotspot. And by the way, the hotspot is called, bruh, why are you up in my jam, so. <laughs> okay, so the hotspot is turned on. And by the way, you would find the exact same hotspot on my TV. All you have to do, is just click refresh. So let's do that. Right there, see? Oh, okay, you, you can see it. That's my hotspot. If you want to use the hotspot, just make sure your TV and your phone are connected to the hotspot. If you wanna use your Wi-Fi, just make sure your phone and your TV are both on the exact same Wi-Fi connection. So in this case, I'm just gonna go with the home Wi-Fi because I've, as I've said before, it's free, it's homey, you don't have to worry about data plan or credit or anything like that. So click on the home Wi-Fi and that is pretty much it. So that is uh, click OK. And by the way, you don't have to do anything from this point on. If you have really old Samsung TV, the best way you can do is to make sure you enable the um, enable the screen mirroring manually. On this TV, we don't have to do, we don't have to do anything on this TV. So if you have a really old TV, you can just click on the sources option right there. And if you see a screen mirroring option right there, wait, hold on. If you see a screen mirroring option on your screen, just click on that because we're basically manually telling the TV that we want to be 
a mirror to it. So yeah, in this case, you really don't have to do anything. So yeah, let's do this. So as I've said before, everything is in place. Basically the Sony Xperia and the Samsung TV are both on the exact same home Wi-Fi. So now what you want to do is to on your phone, really simple, go into your settings. Now inside the settings, go all the way down to your device connections. It's not all the way down, by the way, literally the second option. If you have the uh, latest Android on your Sony Xperia, just click on device connections. Now inside the device connection, you would find an option called connection preferences. Now inside the connection preferences, go all the way down until you see a setting called screen mirroring. That's that says mirror your Xperia on your screen mirroring compliant TV. Oh my God. Okay. Just click on that. And at the, at, at the bottom, you would see an option called start. So all you have to do is just click on start. It's going to click. Okay. And it's going to search for all the devices you have that have screen mirroring built into it. So in this case, there you go. That is my Samsung A series right there. And all you have to do is just click on that and it should be connected by the way, right there. It's going to ask you for a permission at the top right corner. So all you have to do is just click allow. I have four seconds, I believe to do that. So all you have to do is just click OK and right there, it's connecting in the background. So and just wait for it. Just give it a couple, couple, couple seconds, actually. So yeah, right there. See, we are connected. I mean, it's it's pretty quick, by the way. I've never seen uh, I've never seen this quick before. It's like, oh my god, I'm actually using. It feels like I'm using 120 hertz on my TV. It's so smooth. Uh, again, you can do tons on this if you want to. If you want to listen to music, you can actually do that. I could just play the music, and the audio will be coming from the TV. So I'm just gonna click on that. Right there. I'm just going to pause it. I don't want to get copyrighted, but just to give you an example, you can do tons on this. You can listen to music. You can even use your camera if you want to. So in this case, I'm just going to give you an example. So I have to, I'm literally, I'm literally using the camera right now. So, I mean, I mean, I don't know if you can see me right there. Okay. That's pretty much enough. <laughs> okay, don't ask me why I'm using glasses. Just, just don't ask me that, okay? But I'm gonna give you an example. Like I'm literally, it's it's live on my TV. I'm just gonna do, is gonna take a photo of a wallpaper. Actually, I'm gonna take a photo of a computer right there, see? I wanna I wanna take a photo when it's turn, turned red right there, see? Okay. So just gonna give you an example. And by the way, you can actually zoom in and it will, the zoom in will also available be on my TV, so. Let me just turn on the auto rotate and the way it works is literally really simple. I mean, you can just, okay, see right there. I mean, it's so smooth. It's literally connected to it. I mean, look at this. Okay. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty amazing the way it works out. So you can, you can do tons on this. You can watch videos if you want to. So let me just open up YouTube. And uh, okay, there you go. That's one of my videos. And by the way, you can see it on my TV. It's so damn fast. It's so so fast. It's so fast. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna close this. All right. So the way you the way you stop this is really simple as well. Go back to the settings. So by the way, you have the shortcut for disconnect. And if you don't want to use that, just go back to the settings again. Go to connection preferences go to go all the way down to screen mirroring right there. And you would see an option called disconnect at the bottom right corner. So all you have to do, and by the way, just keep an eye on the TV, just click on disconnect, click okay. And we are back to TV. It's really that simple. If you want to do that again, just go back to the screen mirroring settings, click start, click okay. It's going to search for devices and keep an eye on the, the keep an eye on both of them. Actually see right there. All you have to do is just one click and that is pretty much it. So. Give it a couple seconds and we are connected again. So pretty amazing the way it works. So, so smooth. I mean, look at this. So smooth. I mean, look at this. Well, that's it. That's pretty much it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Well, that's pretty much it for the video. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel because that will help a lot. And again, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely get back to you. Okay. Well, I'm Riz and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.